Hey everybody, there's been a new patch that's come out with Windows 11 and it's going to introduce something which you're either going to love or you're going to loathe. And if my video on how to remove Bing from Edge and your taskbar and all that sort of stuff is anything to go by, so many people came back and said, thank you, we don't want this rubbish. Now there's a lot of people who might as well, but anyway, whichever camp you fall into, you're either going to love this or you're going to hate it. So what's the big change? The big change is Copilot. The Copilot preview now appears on your taskbar, it, and it's a brand new icon. I didn't ask for it, it just appeared. And here it is, so if we click it, it's gonna bring open this panel on the right hand side, kinda of looks a lot like being in Edge, and it's basically gonna use their AI to do a whole bunch of stuff, but also potentially make changes on your PC, and it's gonna look at things that you're doing, you're like, if you take a screenshot, it can analyze it. Again, look, this could be something that you absolutely think is amazing, or, very intrusive and you don't want it. Either way, you have a choice. So let's see how we can disable this. So there's ways we can remove the icon, but it's not really disabling Copilot as such. So I'll show you what I mean. So if we hold down the Windows key and hit the letter I, that's gonna open up our settings. And you can do the same thing by right clicking here and going to settings. Now, once we're in our settings, if we go to personalization, on the right side, we'll scroll down, we'll see taskbar, and we've got this Copilot preview, which is currently defaults to on. If we tap that, the icon down the bottom has disappeared, but we just need to do that and it's back on, on, off. So that's one way of getting rid of the icon. Doesn't really get rid of Copilot or disable it properly. We can also do this through the Windows registry. So to do that, if we click on start and we type in reg edit, there's the registry editor. We're gonna run that as administrator. So this brings up the registry editor. And if you follow my Bing video, you would at least have some experience with this now. So we're gonna expand H key current user. So expand that. We're gonna expand software. We're gonna expand Microsoft. We'll scroll down. We'll find Windows, we'll expand that. Current version. Then we're gonna expand Explorer. We're gonna choose Advanced. And in the right hand side, down here, we've got Show Copilot button, which does have the value of one. So this is turned on right now. So if we double click on this, we could set this to zero. We'll click OK. And boom, that icon down the bottom has gone. But if we come back here, to this Copilot preview, let's just click off this and go back into it so it refreshes, you'll see it's currently set to off. Now if we click the button, it's back again. And you'll note that over here, where we've now got this value of zero, if I just hit F5 to refresh this, it's just gonna go straight back to one. So these two things do exactly the same thing. It's probably easier though, not to use the registry editor and to just use the settings, because that way you can't really muck anything up. So on or off, just simply shows the icon or doesn't show the icon. Not really a great solution. So there is a better way and that's using group policy. So group policies are a way of doing, especially in a corporate environment, of making a particular change to a whole group of PCs, you know, every PC in your company, for example. Whereas this we're going to use is a local policy really, where, and that's gonna just apply to our Windows 11 machine. If you haven't done this before, that's fine. We'll do it together. So we're gonna click start. We're gonna type in GP edit. All right, the first thing we get here at the top is edit group policy. That's what we want. We're gonna click that. Now this is going to bring up a window that maybe some of you are familiar with. If it's your first time, that is fine. We'll go through it together. Under user configuration, we're gonna expand administrative templates. We're gonna expand windows components. And let's scroll down. There's Windows Copilot, let's select that. Now over in the right hand side, we've got this one policy here. Turn off Windows Copilot. Now its current state is not configured. So we'll double click this. This brings up this little window here where we can now enable, disable, or set this policy to its current state, which is not configured. So basically it's doing nothing at all. Now a little trick for new players here is naturally you're gonna think, oh, I wanna disable Windows Copilot, disable. Now, if we do that and we click apply, it's done nothing. In fact, it's actually turned it on. And the reason it's done that is because if we look at the actual text, it says turn off Windows Copilot. So if I want to turn it off, I want to enable this policy. 
So instead we'll click Enabled, we'll click Apply, and watch the icon down the bottom, boom, it's gone. Now if we click OK, and we just get out of this completely, next time we reboot, it's going to be gone and it will not return because that policy has enforced this behavior all the time. So if I want to turn it back on, if I go back into my settings here, personalization, scroll down, hit taskbar, you notice we don't have a Copilot option. Now that's a far better way of disabling the Windows Copilot preview if you don't want it. So to turn it back on again, let's just say you do decide that you do really want it back. We'll go GP edit again. We'll edit our policies. We'll come over here, we'll expand the administrative templates under the user configuration heading, Windows Components. We'll choose Windows Copilot. We'll double click this policy over here and we can either set it to disabled, which is gonna turn it on. Again, read the text, or we'll just set it to not configured. We'll click apply, boom, there goes back our icon. And of course, if we hit Windows and the letter I and go back to our settings, personalization, scroll down, taskbar, there's the icon back again. So as you see, the real way of getting rid of it is using that group policy to disable it, or rather enable the policy, but therefore disabling Copilot. That was a question that came through from one of our subscribers, Jake Martin. Thank you, Jake, for the question. It was a good one. I think there's a lot of people who are going to get this Copilot icon appear and go, what the heck is that? I didn't ask for this. And going to be a bit miffed. Other people are going to like it. Whatever camp you fall into, it doesn't really matter. That's how you get rid of it if you really want to. Otherwise, enjoy it. So I hope this has helped you guys. If you don't want it, get rid of it and just enjoy your day. Well, if you have enjoyed this video, I would appreciate you subscribing. That would be great. If not, you have a fantastic day. See you later.